All right, some sweet science. Let's go. Yeah, that's it. Work on that boxing damage. Love it. Oh, yeah. That's how champions train. Combo. Keep at it. Punch damage, right? That's what we need. Power. Keep going. Come on. 30 seconds left. Here we go. That's how we do it. All right, I want to see you kill it today. Let's go in there and crush this. Hey, you're doing great. Beautiful work today. You did awesome. All right, I want to see you kill it today. Let's go in there and crush this. Yes, 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 yes. Nice, nice kickboxing, okay? Keep building up that damage. Let's go. Hey, good job today. You really crushed it out there. Yep, just like that. Seconds. Let's go.
Fast, smooth, strong. That's what we're doing today. Why? Because repetition is the mother of all skill. That's why. Let's go. Takedowns. What are we doing today? That's right. Takedowns. I love it. She's got nothing against your takedowns. Let's go. You're listening perfectly. Nice work. Seconds. Let's go. You got the push there. Nice combination. Press forward. Press forward. Nice. Your wrestling base is getting stronger. My clock doesn't stop until you submit her. Let's go. Pass. Pass now. Come on. Pass now. That one was not easy. Good job finding a way out of that. Good start. Yes, good start. Keep working through it. Good job. Yeah, good job. Good job. Yes, it's almost locked. It's almost locked. Come on now. 20 seconds. Giving her too much space. Let's go. Saw some nice work today that led to some great positions. Keep.
All right. I want to see you kill it today. Let's go in there and crush it. Beautiful combination. Yes, keep it up. Put the pressure on her. All right, some sweet science. Let's go. Oh, wow. That punch damaged her, right? That's what we need, power. Keep going. That's how you block. Come on now, you got 30.
Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Women's Bantamweight Division title. All right, here's the number one women's bantamweight contender. She believes for a while she's been the best at 135 pounds. She's making the walk tonight, staring down the champion. Confidence, not an issue. Fear, not a factor. We'll see if this talented number one contender can shed that label and leave with a new one as the UFC women's bantamweight champion. Well, this belt has changed hands quite a bit, but not since it's been held down by this young woman, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She has really set the standard for excellence at 135 pounds. Tonight, though, facing a number one contender that comes in with a lot of momentum. So if she can defend the belt yet again here tonight, it would really go a long way in stamping her legacy as one of the greatest Bantamweight fighters and champions of all time. Our tale of the tape for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. The American is 28, the Brazilian is 37. She will have a two inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time. Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 5 losses. She stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Manos, Arizona, Brazil. Introducing the challenger, Catlin Benamino Vieira. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, no losses. She stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, King. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so round one is underway. After her last fight, you heard Bruce Buffer say, and still, UFC women's bantamweight champion. She is trying to have him say it again here tonight. She is unquestionably the number one 135-pound fighter in the world. She has successfully defended this belt in the past, and she believes here tonight she's on a different level than the number one contender. We'll see if she can prove it here and turn those words into actions as round one gets underway. Shooting for the takedown here. All right, here we go. Our first round is underway. She's one of the best wrestlers in this division. To that end, how soon do you expect her to shoot? Right away. She's going to go in there, move forward, try to force her opponent to the side of the octagon, change levels, get to a single leg, double leg, or an inside trip to score a takedown. 
Big kick. Oh, and there's another nice kick. Solid kicks across the board from her tonight. I mean, she throws the kick without any wind-up. There's no tell to when she's coming. And potentially a critical takedown here. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Just over two minutes to go. Going for a leg now. Oh, nice. by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground account. Big kick land. Back and forth we go! 30 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, man, does she have the jab working tonight. Beautifully done on that exchange. She's got it going, and it's so fast and so accurate. She's really good at fighting behind her jab. Good jab. Quick entry to get man, her on a that single. that was a great single. Oh, and she gets the takedown there, DC. Now we'll see what she can do with it. Let's see how she secures this position that she worked so hard to get. All right, great round it was. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, a lot for the replay guys to choose from. But, John, it's going to be mostly kicks. Right. She landed them over and over again, found her target, locked in on it, and drove her shin right through her opponent's body. Mm -hmm. That was a great display of kicking in the UFC. Olha, eu acho que a gente perdeu o último round. Você ficou esperando ela. All right, here we go. Next round is underway. And how about her kicking game in the previous round? My lord. She is so good at just blasting kicks with no regard for what's coming back at her. She's not worried about the counter. She will check a reverse kick. She always moves her head off the center line when she throws kicks, so she is not in any danger of taking a counter right hand. Beautiful head kick. And she connects with a punch there, champ. She's so accurate. She's so good at timing all of her strikes. Trying to get that arm underneath the chin. Oh, wow. Oh! She's going to tap. Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. And there it is! Wow! Yeah, no doubt about it. That is some opportunistic grappling right there. And nice finishing instincts as well. You see a lot of fighters get the dominant position, but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap. No problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. So there she is as the celebration continues in the corner. The queen of the 135ers, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. What a way to get the job done and leave with the UFC goal.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 56 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still, the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, King. The bantamweight queen retains her title here tonight and a huge effort to get the job done. The belts are piling up at home. She did everything she intended to do in this fight. She knew where she held the advantages and she stayed in her lane to retain her title. I wonder if she would trade her new belt to you for one of the old ones. She won a lot of the old ones. The old ones were better. I, I actually, no, I want the new one. Uh, Why do you think I'm hanging around that. this you got, you are, you, You'll have, by the time this game comes out, Why you will I, have. Why am I holding on to A new that? belt. Yeah, I want the new yeah, one. Yeah, just get one. Just one. All right, let's get in there and move. That's what I want to see. Dominated today. Good work. Good, Good work with the hands. Yes, I love it. She's starting to fall apart, right? Okay. Let's go! Oh, wow! That punch damaged her, right? That's what we need, power. Let's go! Yes, those punches are adding up, see? Got 20 seconds. Nice boxing. Yes. Nice boxing. Here we go. That's how we do it.
Okay, time to work. Let's go. Yes, that's it. Keep those combos coming. Today, let's go in there and get after it. Remember, repetition is key, and it always pays off. So let's go. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, I see you, I see you. That kick damaged her. Let's go, stay busy. Stop now, you got 30 seconds. That is beautiful. Nice work. All right, let's see what you got today. Speed and power, that's it. Oh yeah, that's how champions train.
I want you to push today. Give it everything you got. Let's go. Yes, yes, awesome. Keep those takedowns coming. Good combination word. Come on. Focus, focus. She's got nothing against your takedowns. Here we go. Nice drive there. Yes. Thirty to go. Show me. Come on, let's pick it up here. Hey, don't worry about it. A lot of time to improve. Speed, time, reaction. That's the goal today. Nice work! Listen, you keep training like that, and no one will catch you. My clock doesn't stop until you submit her. Let's go. Hey, good job today. You really crushed it out there. Here we go. Maybe that's a combo. Come on. Lock her down. Good job, yes. Submission is close. Hey, submission is close. Keep pushing. You got 30. Let's go. Nice work. Lock her down. Saw some nice work today that let...
All right, coming up next, it is our main event, a matchup for the UFC Women's Bantamweight title. Well, this is a belt that has changed hands quite a bit, and this number one Bantamweight contender believes it will again here tonight as she makes the walk for this title fight. She believes this title shot should have come earlier. She's not caught up in all that now, hasn't been during fight week. She's focused on the champion, and you see her staring her down right now. Crowd going crazy. She believes she is the best Bantamweight in the world and believes in a matter of moments here, she will be the new champion. Well, this belt has changed hands quite a bit, but not since it's been held down by this young woman, the reigning defending. Undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She has really set the standard for excellence at 135 pounds. Tonight, though, facing a number one contender that comes in with a lot of momentum. So if she can defend the belt yet again here tonight, it would really go a long way in stamping her legacy as one of the greatest Bantamweight fighters and champions of all time. All right, now let's get you the tail of the tape for this Women's Bantamweight Championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 24 wins, seven losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the challenger, Amanda the Lioness Nunes. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 25 wins, no losses. She stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, King. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. So round one is underway after her last fight. You heard Bruce Buffer say, and still, UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. She is trying to have him say it again here tonight. She is unquestionably the number one 135-pound fighter in the world. She has successfully... Oh! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish it. So both girls landing right out of the chute. Big kick land. This is the fight that fans really wanted to see. The consensus top two 135ers in the world. The champion doesn't necessarily see it that way. She believes she is a level up. She has defended the title in the past. That is a great source of confidence for her as she tries to remain the home. Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh, massive knee to the head. You can never know what you're gonna see 
with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Timing her shots nicely here tonight, DC. She's doing a great job, but not only being active, she is so accurate. She's on point tonight. See it. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high crotch. Oh! Oh, nice. This might just be a matter of time. And there it is! Oh! Yeah, no doubt about it. That is some opportunistic grappling right there. And nice finishing instincts as well. You see a lot of fighters get the dominant position, but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap. No problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. So there she is celebrating with her corner, the queen of the 135ers, the UFC women's bantamweight champion. And how about the method of victory tonight as she gets it done by submission? Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 21 seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by tap out and still. Retains her title here tonight and a huge effort to get the job done. The belts are piling up at home. She did everything she intended to do in this fight. She knew where she held the advantages and she stayed in her lane to retain her title. I wonder if she would trade her new belt to you for one of the old ones. She won a lot of the old ones. The old ones were better. <laughs> I, no, actually, no. I won the new one. Uh, Why do you think I'm don't hanging say around that. You got, you are, you, You'll have, by the time this game comes out, why you will I, have. Why am I holding on to that? A new belt. Yeah, I want the new belt. Yeah, just get one. Just one. <laughs>